Hi there. Looking at buying a franchise possibly as a way to change your career from your current job, maybe like a ball and chain around your ankle, no chance of progression or income potential. So franchise is an option for you. But look before you leap. Not all franchises are the same. So for example, if you, you know, talk to a real estate agent about buying a home or a condo, maybe about investing in a commercial property or a cottage, something like that, um, what do they know about franchises? Ask your real estate broker or agent. Tell me two franchise opportunities that cost me less than $100,000 where the top quartile earn over $200,000 per year net income. Not sales, net income. Ask them to describe for you a master franchise agreement, how that works, rare developer agreement. Ask them to describe those sort of facts for you. They probably can't. So let's say you can't afford or you don't want to afford a, a more expensive franchise opportunity. The ones that are bricks and mortar, obviously they're more expensive. There's a mobile. There's things in different sectors and categories where you may be able to rent a commercial space for much less rent. Or home-based opportunities, as I just mentioned, a couple of those are the service industry, B2B type thing, where one's 50000 bucks, one's $80,000 investment, and one has top quartal earnings above $200,000 a year. The other one has top quartal earnings from $400,000 to $1 million per year. Some of you, for some reason, look at the real estate sector. Well, guess what? 6% of the real estate agents make 90% of their revenue, the commissionable earnings. That means 94% of you don't make very much money. I thought recently to a CEO of a Canadian real estate franchise. And the stats he gave to me, he provided them, told me that their agents across Canada average $13,000 per year net income commissionable earnings. $13,000 a year. So you're going to pay your free real estate course. You're going to pay desk fees, office fees, whatever it might be, royalties, ad fund fees, tech fees, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, pretty soon, you're for nothing, often close to nothing, or you're in the hole. So the reality is, why would you look at a real estate career? Do you understand how the game works? The brokers make money off your desk fees, tech fees, etc., etc. So the more agents they have under their umbrella, the more money they make. So imagine if, for example, a broker was charged by the franchisor $90 per agent for royalties, $39 per agent for an ad fund fee, $35 per agent for a tech fee. But then they can, they can cap that royalty and ad fund fee at 100 agents. Well, they're going to bring on 150, 200, 500 agents. The more, more, more they bring on, the more money they make off those desk fees doing absolutely nothing whatsoever. That's where their real gravy is on their income. So you get the real estate thing, ask yourself, is it really worth your while Will you be part of the 6%? If you think you're part of the 6% that make 9% of the income, why? Why are you special? Why are you not the other 94% that make absolutely zero, essentially? A 30% $30,000 average across a brokerage for all the agents, that includes the bottom feeders and the eagles. If you're not an eagle, identify who you are. Look at me to be honest with you. So the options for you available. $20,000 global financing of business, commercial transactions, like leases, equipment, etc. $50,000 range franchise fee. Your top quartile earned $200,000 per year. Okay, the previous math. Real estate agents, 6% make 90% of the money. Right? Average income per agent in, in, in this countrywide, that's countrywide for this, for this franchise uh, realtor, you know, make $13,000. $13,000. Top quartile, and what I'm discussing with you briefly here, make over $200,000 per year, and the other company make over $400,000 per year. That includes appointment setting for you. You go in, you close the deal, they do all the back office work for you, and you walk out with a residual income for three to five years of 50% of the money you make off that client. $200,000 a year, $400,000 a year. Okay, Think about it. It may seem cheap. You pay a brokerage fee or a franchise fee of $18,000 to be a broker for that real estate franchise. 
pretty cheap, industry standard around that range, but what's your real income potential? And there are brokerages that fail. The first two years, Tom Gibb, a founder of a, of a real estate franchise, the first two years, you starve to death. The third year, you're making money. Well, okay, so what's your spouse do? Do you have a spouse? How about your family? Your kids in high-level sports? Are they in private schools? Do you have car payments, mortgage payments yourself? Can you afford to live off your one spouse's income if you have a spouse making money for two years without making any money at all? Are you a hustler? You bring on more real estate agents? You bring on more agents. You're making money off their, their monthly fees. They're averaging $13,000 per year commission on earnings. That's peanuts. If you're serious about getting into business and being a franchisee, let's talk. There's some real opportunities with real income potential, with real success rates, real numbers, real facts. I can dig in my database of 3,000 plus franchisors across Canada, giving comparative research and analysis by category, industry, and sector, their growth, their turnover, their litigation, their how their fees get for other franchisors in their sector, where they stand, where they fit. Is it a good investment for you? Are they recommended or not recommended for you? Until you have that data in front of you, you're making an ill informed decision. Please get educated. Ask for my ebooks. I have five ebooks, multiple videos. Educate you free of charge before you invest in a franchise. Due diligence first, investment second. Look forward to talking to you soon. It's Andrew at MyFranchisePartners.com, 647-991-2282. Have a great day. We'll talk to you soon.